Hi guys. <clears throat> well, it is a gorgeous but windy day here in the end times in paradise after the storm of the century last night. My last my last big adventure in paradise in St. Croix Virgin Islands. But here it is. Wednesday, June 8, 2016 has dawned. So this this is our uh, farewell video from paradise uh, I just had to <clears throat> bring you one more rant from the vilified plastic chair from the eco lodge Are you gonna join this rant or not come on now you need to join this last rant yes the the plastic chair from uh, I have gotten more grief about <laughs> about this beat up probably 10 year old plastic chair from trolls than, uh, than, than any other object I have ever owned, including uh, my computer, the camera, that uh, your old eco Nazi does not, does not have any right to talk about the state of the planet because he is sitting in a plastic chair. And I've already been over this whole uh, thing about irony, irony, and just the, this, the complete inability of clueless morons to understand the concept of irony and absurdity. And uh, anybody who does not have an appreciation for irony, absurdity, contradiction is going to have a pretty tough time dealing with the shitstorm blowing into this planet and if, if, if you think that that some jackass loudmouth hippie sitting in a chair calling in a plastic chair at an eco lodge talking about the collapse of a planet is is the biggest problem facing this planet then I've got nothing but pity for you but I do understand ignorance is bliss so you ignorant flatlander clueless moron go ahead thinking go ahead thinking the biggest problem on this planet is some uh, some hippie at an eco lodge sitting in a ten year old cast off plastic chair being uh, the biggest problem on planet Earth right now. There you go. So here we are Wednesday, June 8, 2016. And I must say uh, I have to agree with, uh, w w with Hillary Clinton, our next president, who said in her victory speech, is this, uh, I think this is a direct quote from Hillary Clinton, we are at a singular moment in American history. Yes, that is the understatement uh, of the year 2016. We are at a singular moment in American history, and I would say world history, today, we enter officially the Dark Ages. If <laughs> you know, a year ago, uh, well, a year ago, I would have told you it would have been Hillary Clinton versus Jeb Bush. Uh, the fact that this country and you better believe this planet is dealing with this singular moment in global history as we see a good lord as we see a lying sack of shit warmongering corporate whore is a war criminal, a, a lying sack of shit, hypocritical, 
war criminal corporate whore versus a fat ass bloviating climate change denying racist planet eating billionaire one percenter buffoon this is this is what we've come to the singular moment in American history and world history and uh, as I was uh, talking about at dinner with this buddy of mine you know as, as we were toasting uh, Bernie Sanders on his final the final stand of Bernie Sanders last night in California as Bernie was uh, going down in flames uh, he was just begging me, begging me to vote for Hillary Clinton to keep as a vote against Donald Trump. And I, and I said, brother, I said, I am sorry. There, there is just nothing, there is nothing that could make me walk into a voting booth and put, I vote for Hillary Clinton, the war criminal corporate whore to be the president of my country. It ain't gonna happen. I'm just gonna stay out of the polls altogether. <clears throat> Guys, we're fucked. We're fucked on the right, we're fucked on the left, we're fucked right down the middle. And, uh, I, you know, I'm trying to see What is the silver lining in this cloud, uh, in this dark storm cloud on the American empire and the planet? And, and it is this, uh, the difference between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Well, there, there's two differences I've managed to come up with. Uh, at least with Donald Trump, we know his energy policy that, that he is just going to be sucking the dick of big oil. He's just going to be a drill, baby drill, uh, fossil fuel cheerleader. Uh, that's Donald Trump. But then you got this corporate whore bitch on the other side, and, and she is just going to be sucking the dicks of big oil, big gas, big solar, big wind. Uh, she's just going to be spreading out her corporate blowjobs. It'll give a whole new definition to presidential knee pads. You know, talking about Monica Lewinsky sucking uh, Bill Clinton's dick. Now we will have Hillary Clinton on the presidential knee pads sucking the dick of every energy source on this planet, uh, lining her pockets from, from every point imaginable. But, you know, weighing the two, I would say the bottom line difference is that Hillary Clinton will, uh, under Hillary Clinton versus Donald Trump, that global industrial civilization, our species, and the planet will probably get about five more years to delude ourselves than under Donald Trump. But since I am an eco-Nazi cheering on the collapse and fall of global industrial civilization, uh, and I understand that Donald Trump, more than Hillary Clinton, will bring about the long overdue collapse and fall of global industrial civilization, I guess that uh, I'm for Donald Trump. Any eco-Nazi at this point should be for Donald Trump. The sooner we bring this show to a close, the better, and I cannot think of 
of anybody, not just in this country, but perhaps on planet Earth, on planet Earth, to lead us into the collapse and fall of global industrial civilization than, than, than that fucking bag of hot air. So, uh, Donald Trump, I'm with you, brother. But right now, I've got bigger things on my mind than Donald Trump uh, taking down the American empire and the uh, and global industrial civilization because I have got to pack up my plastic chair and my plastic table and my little dog and stuff my little dog into his plastic little carrying case and we are heading to the airport. Sancho Pons and I heading to the airport to get on an American Airlines jumbo jet leaving paradise spewing our chemtrails back to Babylon where I understand there will be a picking party in full swing with my lovable, clueless, moron friends waiting for the return of Hambone. So I will get off the plane at midnight tonight and 10 minutes later be at a picking party in South Austin, Texas as we crank up the summer of 2016. My next rant will be from the Lone Star State. But uh, for this little adventure in paradise from my plastic throne, this is Sancho Panza and I saying Bye, guys. Okay, chair. It is time to head back to the Eco Lodge to take your place among the 50 other plastic chairs where you came from. Bye, guys.